Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today I'm going to be discussing my top 10 biggest steals of the 2020 NHL entry draft. Now throughout the draft and especially in the later rounds, we saw a bunch of players get picked that I think could be real steals in this draft. Now this isn't in any actual order and for the rules I have all these prospects that are steals outside the first round. So even though I think Marco Rossi and Nicole Perfetti, both of those guys went pretty high and are respective steals, I wanted to limit it to players drafted in the later rounds and guys I think can really bite some teams in the future. So, who do I see as the biggest steals of this 2020 NHL draft and which prospects make my top 10? Watch till the end for all my rankings and all my picks and of course, hit that big red subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Now we're going to get today's video started out with my first draft steal of the 2020 draft. Now again, no prospects in the first round, but we're going to get straight into it with the earliest steal I think of this draft, coming from the LA Kings, Helgi Granz. Now the Swedish defenseman is an absolute stud, six foot three, 192 pounds. One of my favorite defensemen in this draft class, I have him in my early 20s rankings wise, he goes 35th overall to the LA Kings. And I think this is a beautiful pick for both LA and for Helgi Granz. So far, Granz has two points in three SHL games this year after having a pretty decent stint in the SHL last year too. I think Granz is an up and coming middle pairing guy that can shut down the door, bring great physical size, but also has some pretty underrated skating and offensive skills that I think for the LA Kings they'll use quite well. For me, I love this pick and I can't I cannot wait to see Granz come up with the Kings. The next steal I have, or I guess one of the other ones, number two, I I'll guess I'll say, this one coming from the Minnesota Wild, 37th overall in Murat Kuznadinov. And I love Murat as a prospect. Once again, another guy that was in my early 20s, going 37th overall to the Minnesota Wild. And I think this is going to be an amazing draft pick for them. Now, they already get Marco Rossi as a center. I think Kuznadinov will also be a center in the next level. Both of them are undersized. Murat is 5'9", but both of them bring the intensity to become a center. Both of them have decent defensive skills, especially Rossi. But Kuzaninov is an offensive, brilliant mind. I, I love watching him all the time because he's just so fun to watch. He commands play, he leads ice time, and he rules shifts. That's the type of guy that I think can be a dominant player. A second line center, most likely at his peak, but a guy who can pitch in so well offensively, especially in the power play. I think he's going to be amazing for Minnesota. And having Rossi and Kuzaninov as your future top two centers is pretty fantastic for the Wild. So overall, that draft not looking too bad for them. Next up, going to another second rounder on my list. This one coming from the Carolina Hurricanes, 41st overall in Noel Gundler. And I absolutely love this pick for the Canes. In my opinion, one of the best draft deals in this class. I had him right in my top 15. He goes 41 to the Canes. And I feel like that's a team that could use Gundler to his maximum potential, which for me is a top six winger in the NHL. Although he hasn't really gotten off to the greatest SHL start. He's six foot two, 19 at the moment. And that's a guy that I think is a little more NHL ready than a lot of people give him credit for. I don't know, could step into Carolina as soon as next season or next season after 2021. I feel like Noel Gundler though just has some sneaky skill, solid skating, great overall offensive instincts. And that's a guy I could totally see placing in the middle six on Carolina and to be able to get that in a second round pick especially 41st overall pretty solid pick overall then going on to the next one I have from the Montreal Canadiens in my opinion their best value pick of this draft though Sean Farrell is also another good honorable mention that being Jan Meshack now I love this pick for the Habs 48th overall in the second round Meshack was a guy that was in my mid 20s rankings wise but I do think he has pretty strong potential at very least being a middle six potential a third line, maybe even second line left winger on the Habs core. But I do think Meshack fits a lot on that team. He does still bring some pretty good size, six foot, 181 pounds, and his frame is already pretty bulked up. And although he had a little bit of struggles in the OHL this season, I feel like he's already had his growing pains in North America. And I think he's gone past that. I think that's a guy that has some crafty speed, some crafty skill. Will be kind of low key, but will get the job done. And I think for the Habs, they'll like that a whole lot. Now going on to my next draft steal, I now go to the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they had a lot of quality options. I'll probably mention it in like an honorable mentions thing, but they had a lot of great draft picks. One of the best ones, I think, though, was Ronnie Hervinen at 59th overall. Now, I had Hervinen, I'm pretty sure, 28th 
in my final rankings, very late in the first round, but still a first round caliber prospect, and the Leafs do get him at number 59. Now, he is center age 18, turns 19 next January, but he is an overall very excellent center, I think, and will be a center at the next level. Just low-key, very solid defensive play. Really has potential in that area. It's still a little bit raw, especially in the Liga, but I do think he has the chance to be a bottom six player for the Leafs and get the job done eventually. Then going on to my next draft steal, we go to another Finnish player I have from the LA Kings, Kasper Samantoval. Now, I like Kasper Samantoval quite a bit. He is 5'9", five, five and he does have some size issues. Consistency also can be a little bit of an interesting one. Some games he can go absolutely nowhere. But I do think his top line talent can certainly lend himself to an NHL contract and to an NHL spot. I'm not sure how far he could go in the NHL lineup for the Kings, but I could definitely see a third liner who can contribute quite well. Kind of like a Kasperi Captain Light, to where he is maybe not as effective, but a guy that could be a very great third line guy that just gets the job done and has some solid skill to boot. Then going on to my next draft steal, I have from the Philadelphia Flyers. Zade Wisdom. Now, the Flyers really didn't have too many picks, but they ended up getting Zade Wisdom in the, with the first pick of the fourth round, 94th overall, and I love this pick for the Flyers. I think he'll fit right at home in their style, and I think Zade Wisdom is a perfect player for them to get. Now, he could be a center, he could be a winger, it's kind of up in the air, but for me, Zade Wisdom is the perfect bottom six forward to have. He always grinds, he's always efficient, and he never really takes too many shifts off. He's just a workhorse, always out there, always trying to make an impact, and his work ethic is fantastic, his story is fantastic, and I'm so hoping he makes it, whether it be for the Flyers or any NHL team. Get Zayd in the NHL. It needs to happen. Next up, going to my next draft steal, I have from the San Jose Sharks at 98th overall, Brandon Coe. Now, I said if Brandon Coe goes outside the top two rounds, I think he'd be one of these steals of this draft. Getting him 98 overall is an absolute steal, I think, for the San Jose Sharks. I have number 50 in my prospect rankings. I'm a pretty big believer in him. Now, he is definitely the biggest prospect I have in this top 10, sitting at 6'4", 190 pounds. But he's a guy that is just a brilliant, underrated player in basically all facets of the game. Now, he was with one of the worst teams in the CHL in the North Bay Battalion, but still put up great numbers and still was very productive. But with Brandon Coe, I mean, that's a guy that skill-wise gets super underrated. People will look at a six foot four and just think he's a grinder, that he's just a physical guy, and there are, it, that is that uh, there, uh, that element in his game still. But I do think that he's pretty crafty in the offensive zone. He gets the job done, has a great shot too, and some pretty sneaky passing skills. I think that's a guy that could totally be a middle six winger, and I would not be surprised if he becomes a second line player in the NHL. Then going on to my next draft steal, I have from the New York Rangers, Brett. Berard. Now, obviously, for the Rangers, Alexi Lafreniere leading that 2020 draft class, but they had a couple of great picks later in the rounds, guys like Evan Verling, but I think Brett Berard is the God, the, really the cherry on top of a pretty great draft class for the Rangers. Left winger, 5'9", 18 years old, will turn 19 next September. Super young prospect, and although he is undersized, I think Brett Berard is the definition of efficiency. He is just a simple, go-at-it kind of character that just gets the job done, nothing too fancy about it, but he is just a workhorse. He always tries out there, and he just ends up getting the job done. That was how it happened in the USDP this year, and that's how I can continue to see it happening. He might not be anything more than the third line great defensive reliable player, but if you get that in the, what is it, fifth round, that's pretty okay. That might just be my opinion, but that's pretty all right. And last but not least, going to our last draft steal in this top 10, I have from the Carolina Hurricanes in the seventh round, Russian forward Alexander Poshin. Alexander Poshin, to me, is a second round prospect. And although there is some huge risk involved because he's like five foot seven, to me, that is some serious skill. That is amazing potential in Poshin. And I think that's a guy that was totally worth a pick outside the first round as a swing. Who knows what will happen? We'll see what happens type of pick. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes drafting him is no surprise because it was just another pick on top of their incredible draft. But Poshin, I think, might have been the biggest 
biggest steal they had. Gundler was certainly number two, but getting Poshin in the seventh round is just ridiculous. And Carolina is a team that could definitely turn him into something. And although he does have that small size, he's kind of like a, Nav <laughs> a friggin' Nathan Gerby, I think he will still potentially be an NHL player. There's a lot of swing and miss, there's a lot of risk involved, but if he does turn out and he becomes an NHL player, uses that skill, I could see him becoming a middle 6'4", maybe even a second line winger in the NHL. He does have that skill, and it might take a while to come to the NHL, but I like that pick a lot for the Canes, and I think it will speak for itself in the next few seasons. Now, there's a lot of other picks that I did want to mention that just didn't crack the top 10. I really love the Danil Gushin pick by the San Jose Sharks, Lucas Cormier to the Vegas Golden Knights. Zion Nebeck was another amazing pick for the Canes. William Villeneuve for the Leafs, a great pick. Martin Kromiak for the Kings in the fourth round was freaking insane, or actually the fifth round. I don't even know. Either way, it was freaking awesome. Then you had others like Dimitri Chinnikov for the Leafs, and last but not least, Rory Karens to the Cal Flames. That's a pretty solid pick as well. But there was a lot of fantastic draft steals, I think, in this draft. It kind of saddens me. I could only ma mention those, but there were some amazing ones. You could see the Leafs, the Kings uh, leading the way. You got also the Canes doing quite amazingly. So not too bad in terms of draft steals. And I think a lot of these guys will prove people wrong going into their NHL careers. So let me know down in the comments down below, who do you think is the biggest draft steal of this draft and in terms of my picks what do you agree and disagree with let me know your thoughts make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you're new of course share this video with your friends get the draft deals out there click on this card for all my hockey prospect content right on the playlist my name is nathan i love you and i'll see you in the next video or stream goodbye